Wow. It's hard to believe that I took that picture 53 years ago in the basement of Rick Danko's house on Chestnut Hill Road here in Woodstock. Now it's a mural on the wall of the Basel Theater, which is one of the buildings that Albert built to try and harness the musical magic that the band created. I took the photographs of their first two albums, Music in Big Pink and the band. In 2015, I created a book of my photographs of the band from that time period. And uh, about four or five months later, I was in my studio looking through boxes, and I see a box that says band book outs, band book second choices, band book third choices. I opened one of the boxes and I took a printout, and I couldn't believe that it wasn't in the book because it was one of my favorite photographs of the band. And I said, why isn't this picture in the book? And then I started to go through the prints, and they were a lot like that. And the reason the picture wasn't in the book in the first place was because we just didn't have enough pages. We had about, was about 160 pages in the first book, and this one will be about that size also. Um, and I just didn't have the space for all the great photographs. So at that point, I realized I would have to do at least one more band photographs book. The reason that I'm making a second book of these photographs is because when I took these pictures, my ambition, my, my goal was to get a good photograph. It wasn't to do a record album cover. It was only to capture a moment of pure beauty and share it. And in order to share, in order to show that what I call pure beauty, you need good quality reproduction, good quality paper, good quality printing. And the first book did very well on Kickstarter. And because of that, I had all the money I needed to get the best print quality that I could figure out how to get. I was able to use something called wet proofing, which means I had samples printed on a printing press and sent to me. And then we use those samples to adjust the files so they look perfect inside the book. And the quality of these is so good. Uh, when we made them, we matched them up to fine art prints that I make one by one on my studio printer. And the quality of these prints are so good that you should buy two books and cut out the pages and hang some on the walls if you want some framed. <laughs> the reason these pictures are so important to me, which includes the ones that are gonna be in the next book, is because these were five really wonderful human beings who manifested the essence of their souls, let's say, um, because in this case, when you listen to their music, you hear that that's what's being expressed, and that's why their music is so powerful. And I think it's, it's, a, it's a, a lesson, it's a goal, it's an objective for people everywhere doing anything, is just to give it all you got and do the best you can. Someone asked me what I want the legacy of these photographs to be, and my answer is a legacy of love, a legacy of the love that these young men were experiencing with each other, living together for seven years, traveling, working together, expressing their deepest feelings through playing instruments. That's what music is about. And I hope that these photographs will share that legacy, will share that expression of love, which in this case came out as beautiful music.